So this is probably the only video that I'm going to be making with my Dazic 2. So I got this a couple days ago and it ended up proving defective as you can see right here. This essentially is supposed to be the startup or the yeah, the, like kind of like the startup screen or what the screen would look like when it's booting. It's been like that ever since I plugged it in. So it's been a couple days now. And as you can see, another defective sign is that the status LED light is off. And not only that, but the select button, which would be considered as the quick art of UT button, also does not work. As you can see right here, this is a DASDIC 2. This was taken from some radio station in Houston. So I'm going to be returning this today, actually. I uh, just woke up. Uh, and I'm going to be returning this DASDIC back to the seller. And hopefully uh, I have something planned. So I'm not going to fully enclose what is the next step for KEBN. Did want to go self cap compliant, and unfortunately, it cannot do that with the DASDIC because of its many defects that I've now noticed. So, I tried plugging it in, tried receiving it, tried accessing the IP address via a LAN cable or, in this case, an Ethernet port. I was able to obtain it, however, uh, no good. The system needs to be fully booted before we can actually access the web interface. So, as of now, this is, like I said, the only video, the first and last, that I'm going to make with my DASDIC 2, or with my defective DASDIC 2. So, Sage is still working, TFD is still working, and the Trilithic Easy Plus is also working. As you can see, the last alert that I received was actually a couple days ago. Which just so happened to be KBSX required weekly test. So, unfortunately, I uh, cannot go CAP compliant at this point. However, I do have something planned for the later future. So, stay tuned for that. Hopefully, I can make more Endic videos. And with that said, this is pretty much the first and only video I'll be making of my digital alert systems, DASDEC 2.